you ever want to break free? Try something you've never done before? Or how about just break out of the mold that you've been in and do something radical? Well, I'm a landscape painter, and I've been that in one form or another for the last 55 years of my of my life, maybe a little longer than that. And I love landscape. I'll always do it. The first 35 years was in watercolor, and well, along with the landscape were a few little barns and stone houses and fence posts. I loved doing that. There came a time when, I guess, after 35 years, I needed a little more challenge. And so, somehow, I morphed over into oil painting. I make it sound like that was just a simple little thing, but it, it really wasn't. Because I, I really fell into it in a weird kind of a way. Somebody brought me a box of somebody else's oil paints, and, well, the short version is this. It took about two years before I opened the box and actually started to use them. But change is good. And sometimes change comes about in ways that, well, we don't see it coming. Kind of like broadside. Better watch how you're driving because you never know when you're going to Get hit by a semi-truck, you know? <laughs> God forbid. But sometimes in life, there are broadsides that are, are good for us. You know, there's times when we get hit with stuff that we don't understand. We just don't know why we're going through this. It happened to me. And... Well, I find myself an oil painter now and have been for the last 17 years. And I haven't looked back and it's been wonderful. The change that came about, well, I never expected it, but it's been rewarding every day since. Not without challenges, there is not an artist on the planet that escapes challenges. In fact, I believe that there are not any self-employed people on the planet that have not had to overcome insurmountable challenges. Now for me, even in the last year, I have not abandoned my landscape painting, but in fact I've added a whole new dimension to the way I paint. Well, I've become this sort of crazy abstract artist. It's not all I do. I still love, I still love my landscapes and I'll continue to do them. But breaking free from the mold. Yeah, that appeals to me. Not being stuck in the same old, same old. And who knows, I might end up with a big stack of canvases that nobody wants. But I don't care. I learned a long time ago to follow my heart and go with it. When you get hit by the broadside, you got to use what it leaves you and you got to deal with the cards. You got to play the cards that you're dealt, as they say. I'm not a card player, so I don't really know the terms well, but <laughs> let's just say uh, when your mama puts your dish in front of you, you better eat it. <laughs> and, uh, the dish that I've been dealt is uh, painting. And it's great to use these brushes for various disciplines like, well, landscape and abstract. Now, a different kind of a broadside that I've seen recently is not mine personally, but with my daughter. Some of you have been following. And you know the story. Something that happens to one of your kids, it happens to you as a parent. You can't help but experience it, feel it. And uh, I like to say sometimes that the pain of your children is just as, if not more painful for the parent. Because we, we really uh, 
feel everything that they go through. Well, what happened? She was out uh, moving some things around and had all of her camera gear. She's a pro photographer, lest I didn't mention that. And uh, thousands of dollars worth of pro gear that she uses for weddings and portraits and what have you. And uh, one day she was doing something somewhere and stepped out of her car for just a few minutes and came back to find all of her gear was stolen. Well, that's a broadside. Because when you're a photographer, that's your lifeblood. And that's how you make your living. So, um, you know, I put a little link to uh, GoFundMe. It's down in my... Uh, in my description and if you want to go there if you want to contribute a little bit or a lot i want to say every little bit helps and uh, this father of a pretty distraught daughter <laughs> would really love to hear uh, from you or to get your little bit uh, that you could uh, help with that would be really appreciated and uh, who knows I, I predict that this will be the turning point in her life to better things in photography and that she will be challenged by it. I know her. She certainly will. She's got the fortitude. That's no problem there. She's a tough girl. But I'm really excited to see what comes of it because I know that when broadsides happen, change happens. And when change happens, we become better people. We accomplish bigger things. Those of us that stick with it, that is. And I know she will. And look what we have here. A big, colorful, multi-layered, massive abstract. This is, well, this is 48 inches by 60 inches. I want to say it's just been fun. Absolutely fun. And, uh, well, a great way to spend a little bit of time each day. I don't do this all at once. It happens over time. You look at it and you think to yourself, hmm, it needs a little of this or it needs a little of that. And lately I've been feeling like the lines are somewhat a little bit intrusive, a little too bold. So I'm just kind of thinning them down a little bit, just kind of making them a little less prominent by, by adding... Uh, color into the zones thinning those lines back a little bit like this one right here just making it a little less in your face and drawing a little more attention to well all those beautiful playful wonderful colors wow isn't that how life is all the different colors of our life the things that we love the places we love to go the people we like to hang out with it's all there Listen, thanks for watching and uh, be sure to like and for sure subscribe so you can catch my future videos. Thank you. From right here on the Robert Painter on YouTube.